We're wrapping up this dispatch series with a couple of tips on avoiding or preventing drivers, carriers, or equipment from being dispatched because of safety or maintenance reasons. The first is a setting you can turn on for carriers or owner-operators on your fleet as a safety net to avoid dispatching them if they're expired on license, insurance, or other key qualifications. In Dispatch Preferences, toggle the Qualify Carrier setting. You can have it warn you or prevent dispatch altogether if a carrier is missing or expired on one or more safety qualifications. To also apply the setting to vendor drivers, just mark the checkbox right below it. Whether you're creating trips using the brokerage dispatch model or using the truckload dispatch model, you'll get a message if the driver or carrier has any missing or expired safety statuses. You can email the safety report to the vendor straight from the dispatch board. To clear the message, you just need to launch the setup profile and update the dates. Get warnings for or be prevented from assigning tractors or trailers to loads that are due for one or more maintenance services. Back in Dispatch Preferences, toggle this setting. We have ours set to Warn Only. Let's use Truckload Dispatch to assign this load. The warning tells us that Resource 164, which is a tractor, is due for one or more services. Since we're only being warned, we can go ahead and continue. We can go into the new trip and change it if we want. To learn more about the service that's due, head over to the Scheduled Maintenance Report. To clear the message, a record that the scheduled service has been performed will need to be entered. The last feature we're touching on is the Prevent Dispatch setting in any resource setup profile. This can be marked by an administrative or safety staff member. This feature is different from making a driver, carrier, tractor, or trailer inactive because you can still see the resource on the dispatch board. They can also still be processed in settlement as usual, assigned to fuel transactions, etc. But when you try to assign a load to the resource, you're prevented from doing so. That's it for this month's tips. Check out the Dispatch section of the Knowledge Base for more information on all of the features we covered in this video.